Okay, does your Ford Escape EcoBoost have a hard brake pedal or suddenly lose brake? Today we're actually going to be replacing a vacuum pump on a 2013 Ford Escape EcoBoost. So original equipment, Ford, all same part numbers and everything. This is actually the vacuum pump here. It goes on the side of the engine right there under the intake air for the turbo intake tube but stand by and watch we actually uh, modified this one so that it would actually have brakes different tube and everything here we went straight into the intake manifold um, it actually got brakes and everything but of course under boost you're not going to have any brakes and this is actually just an adapter tube that we made for this vehicle until we can actually get the part. So today we're actually going to put the part on. And I'm going to attempt to do all of this without stopping. First you got to remove your air intake tubes. Those screws are a little hard to get to. So we're actually going to remove the air filter box first. And get access to everything. Pocket full of tools is all you need. Eight millimeter. quarter inch ratchet if you've got a quarter inch ratchet or I think you could make do with an adapter and a uh, 3 8 drive ratchet but 3 8 drive or quarter inch will do the, will do the job you need an 8 millimeter to remove the air intake filter box four screws on it Got one there. There we go. So, get that out of the way. Get that every filter. Now, clean that out. It's just a bunch of seeds. But, anyways. remove this rubber piece here that gives you access to this so we can pull that out of the, out of place and actually I'll be able to removing the air box will actually give you more access to this so you don't even have to connect disconnect any of this hose but there is one right up on top of the engine there that you have to disconnect you should be able to take everything out here just by removing a couple bolts. Thankfully this is one of four better ideals. It's actually kind of easy to get to. Take the flat head. that. Loosen real good. I should be able to. Let's see, there's one more. Rubber bushing in the back of this. It's holding it together. All right, there we go. So that's an air box out of place now to get the yeah uh, so this is actually going bad it's squirting oil everywhere we I didn't really expect it to be doing that but it doesn't even do anything now it's just empty part so we're gonna remove this connector 
This is the, I think it's a fuel pressure sensor or vacuum. That's solenoid for your uh, engine. Um, give me just a second, I'll tell you what it does. Solenoid for your fuel tank. So we've got two bolts on this. You look at it just like this. There's one on the bottom, two on the sides. Easy to get to. Eight millimeters. And if yours is doing what this one's doing, you may get a little dirty from oil. But no worries. Just be careful and don't drop your bolts. Got to adjust this camera. Here we go, we're we've got three eight millimeter bolts. Don't mix them up with the uh, air intake bolt. So here we go, we've got another one on the side. Same way, it's actually kind of easy to get to on this one. And one on the bottom. And if you want to leave it's fairly easy to work with. Okay, there we go. Pull it out. It just simply pops out. There we go. We're gonna take the new one. Actually, put a little bit of oil on this sill. Be careful because there is oil inside the engine there that can leak out. This is engine oil, so it's it's good to put it on it. And now we're just gonna take it. Make sure we turn the uh, turn that part so it lines up with the old one. So we look at the old one and have that turn just like that. So there we go. Load the bottom, do on top. So it should slide back in into the same. if it was right. Okay, just a little figuring it out there. I actually have to hold this on until you get the screws started. Back to the bottom screws. And I apologize, that air intake's actually the uh, round air that's been bolted right here. Okay, that's the hardest one of all. This one in the back, you actually kind of got a monkey with it for a second, and it goes right together. So it's just like that. So we should be able to see everything there. Screwed in, which is going to take care 
scratch it. Torque it down a little bit. Go to the bottom boat. Running in a little. Do not tighten yet. Take the top one, run it all the way in. Snug the top one. Come back over to the one on the side there. Do it the same way. Just snug with your hands. These are eight millimeter bolts. They do not need to be tightened extremely tight. Okay, there we go. We are connected. I'll just hook out a tube back in and we should be good to go. So we'll put the air intake box back on. Bring this back over. Come down into there. And this electrical harness right back on that. That's our brake booster. We're actually gonna put that right there for now. Put it all back together. And I'm gonna put that booster, that vacuum pump back up there. Just kinda got a monkey with us here. easier than it is. Right. There we go. We got all that sled together. Air box. Got the rubber mounts. Okay, there we go. Air box is in. My servo sensor is connected. And we're going to hook our evap hose in, come back over here, get our 8mm bolt, holds the air intake down, screw it all the way down with my hand. Everything on this is 8mm. So one 8mm ratchet and you're good to go. Like you seen, it's I didn't skip any part in this process of putting this together. Okay, that part. Now we've got this little piece here. And this is actually a, one of the difficult ones. Is if this gets removed. Back under here. And now, get the bottom part, slides back in. And the only thing we're doing is connecting the straps, and we're good there. And I'll get the air filter. Air filter. Yeah, there we go. Air filter, air filter is in. Um, make sure everything's back in the same spot it's supposed to be in. Eight millimeter again. Put the screws on. And here in a second, you'll see me connect the vacuum lines back into the vacuum pump. it works we're good okay so now we made a adapter for this so we would have brakes now we're actually gonna move the adapter put this back on this is your this is what connects your brake booster to your vacuum pump you just slide together pull it off you squeeze the tube back 
parts there and it slides off real easy. Same thing with this part. Squeeze the top and the bottom of it there. Ones with the ridges. It works the same way with the screen when you just push in on the green tab on the back side of it there. Two fingers and it slides off easy. Electrical connect on mass airflow, same way. Then the pump, I think the pump's like a uh, it's like a hundred dollar pump. You order it from Ford Motor Company. So now we're good to go. We just gotta find a uh, block off for this, which won't be hard to do at all. But here we are. This is a uh, 2013 Ford Escape vacuum pump remover and installation. Thank you for watching.